Live. All right, guys, how's everybody doing tonight? Uh, we're going to do a quick live stream, open this up, a few other things, have a quick chat, and see where it takes us. What's going What's on, up, man? guys? How's everybody doing today? Long Monday, huh? <laughs> oh, and I feel like the rest of the next three, four weeks are going to be like this since we're all going to be trapped. Yeah, I'm hoping that I'm not going to be, but we'll see. Who knows? It's, uh, it's hard to tell. <laughs> Chaos. Hard to I know tell. I didn't win. I know. It broke my heart, dude. So, like, three minutes after this showed up, I was super excited. I'm not going to open it. It's still sealed. And I waited. And, like, as soon as I did, spoiler alert, Batman went, uh, was already claimed. So, whatever. It sucks. But uh, let's hit the chat. Hey, Magic, how you doing, sir? We got both tonight. What's going on, Man Bat? Uh, magic, Magic, hello. What's going on, Jabroni? What's up, Comic Man Andy? I'm going to turn this down just a little My bit. My brother. Wow. <laughs> on the wall, son. What's going on, Ryan? Hope everybody's doing well. What's up, buddy? What's going on, man? <laughs> my man chaos. chaos already getting all over us <laughs> oh what's going on cap no I, I appreciate the love and support chaos i uh, uh i'm already down i watched very gary open up his first one the other night and i saw it and i was like man that's terrible and he's opening <laughs> up his next one uh what's going on hella comics nice to see you yep, um yep. but um so he opened up his first one i was like man that sucks but the more <laughs> i think about it you know, it, I mean, it was pretty bad. It's, you know, basically just a bunch of uh, incentives or, or, you know, their exclusives. They print off for like two bucks, and then what they don't sell, they're just throwing in these things, and it's a way of... But the more I think about it, you got to think about it as like a raffle, okay? Yeah, and that's wish, really what you got to look at it as, I mean. And that's the best way to keep them disappointed. You're doing a raffle, and you still get something... As a consolation prize. And, and that's what I was going to say. I mean, at least with this, you get some kind of, uh, yeah. you know, something out of it. Whereas in like a, a waffle or a raffle, you know, yeah. you already know, unless there's multiple things, you're only getting one. You know, there's only one person going to come out with something. So at least, at least you know, you're going to get something. So, yep. and, you know, yep. he but said again, you know, for what, dollar raffle. <laughs> hey. Yeah. <laughs> but for what it is, you know you have a chance of winning a $40,000 book, you know, and I guess it's not terrible. And really it's more or less got an FMV of about 20,000 from what I saw. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is, but we're going to make this quick. Uh, I don't want to run into like very Gary's Appreciate times it. or anybody. Thank you. Hello comics. Um, and, uh, you know, but a couple things I wanted to do beforehand while everybody's coming in. So we are doing a couple giveaways. Go check out that video. If you're new here, like hello comics, Hank, we're giving away um, some pretty big prize packs from Mad Cave from us personally, and then we're doing a custom art giveaway from Brian Silverbacks. He's a Scout Comics artist, uh, so go check that out. We won't go into it too much. Dustin, you're running a giveaway on one of your what if? Uh, I am, right? I am. So on Sunday mornings, me and this guy, Captain Comics, we are doing the what if show, and it's been really fun. We really, really are enjoying this. Last yep. uh, yesterday's video. It, it was really, really fun. We enjoyed issue number two. If you guys missed that, <laughs> make sure you go catch it on the replay because uh, I'm telling you, that book was something else if you've never read it. Um, but we are doing a giveaway. Nope. So if you yep. go and watch the video from yesterday, in that video, it's going to tell you what you got to do to enter in a giveaway. And this Sunday, we're going to announce the winner of what if issue number one. It is a reader's copy. But hey... It's a free issue number one of the What If and its first series. So somebody's going to win that copy this Sunday. Go check out the video yesterday on What If the Hulk Had the Brain of yep. Bruce Banner, and uh, you'll figure out how to get into that giveaway. All right. And then I got a couple cool things in today. I'm going to show everybody real quick. So I was watching um, another YouTube channel, and these popped up, and they are actually trading cards, but they're made with Theory 11 and Lucas Films. No, they're not trading cards. I'm sorry, they're playing cards, and these things are incredible, right? So you right have, on. Uh, you can see the embossment. I mean, everything, even the flaps on the inside, has a little something. I mean, 
it's it's pretty cool. So if you're into that kind of thing, you know these aren't expensive at all, uh, but they're they're awesome, man. I I liked it, um, and man, they're good quality, and they come from Art of Play. Right on. All right, and then this right here is something from Perry Comics. How precious. Now, is that something he sent to us, or... No, this is actually something I bought. You know Perry's not sending anything out. He didn't even send it out his giveaway boxes. <laughs> Perry, if I'm you're out there... That up and I'm going to hit it with a couple new people. TK, what's going on, brother? Wednesday pool, what's going on? So this was from his Streamlabs things he does. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, that is awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. That looks like Ice Cube. Tell me you got more than one. No. Ah. So if you want one of these, man, you got to catch Perry on his lurking stream. That's where he sells these. And whenever you do it, you get a chance. Basically, it pops up whatever you say. That's pretty cool looking, though. It's got his little Perry Comics logo there at the bottom. Mm -hmm. But he, He's making a t-shirt, too, I believe. Yeah. You can buy it. They're both there and the tank top. But you have okay. To, okay. It's a woman-sized tank top. So pretty uh, cool. Pretty cool. Right on. So, all right. You ready to get into it? Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, just tear the books all to hell before you even open it. <laughs> Get out my handy dandy knife. What do you mean? Yep, a t-shirt. And just so everybody can see, I've not opened it yet. It is steel sealed. I mean, I've had this thing since like 1030 this morning. Show the box, been... man. The box yeah, it's looks pretty cool. really cool. And this is the two this is the two point oh. So it's chaos. Uh, it was a sticker. There you go. So you can still be in, but I'm still big. Yep. Yeah, so it's a sticker. Man Bat says, good luck. I know. I mean, but I mean the box is really neat, though. I mean, yeah. I, I, I'll give that to them. They've got the best-looking <laughs> box. I like that even better than the Spider-Man box. Yeah. This is apparently an actual, like, door that they have inside their... Um, True story. Uh, inside their, um, what do you call it? Everybody's got their fingers crossed for you, right? Now, now, here's the thing, though. If you want a big book, it's not actually in here. It's taped into a Polaroid on the top. So we'll let everybody else look first. Oh, so you know you didn't win a big book. Yep, didn't win anything. Well, dang. I know, that's disappointing. That's disappointing, because they're not going to ship out a big book like that. Hey, maybe there's something in there, though, that, 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 I don't know, maybe that you'll like. Maybe there's some kind of Silver Surfer Black variant you don't have or something. <laughs> Probably a two dollar exclusive cover. They're gonna price up for uh, fifteen, twenty bucks. That didn't sell. But that's all good. Like I said, it's the raffle, right? And apparently they do. Oh, okay. And they're guaranteeing. You know, it's gonna be about a hundred fifty dollars in value. But again, that's they they're do the Spider-Man. Guaranteeing a hundred and fifty dollars in value. Yep, however, they put their own price tags on here, so it's kind of oh, like a okay. Spider-Man booth where it's like, right, right, are right. that kind of value? All right, so we'll start with the first one. Dustin, I'll sell this one to you. Ah, oh, it must be something good. What is that? I can't tell. I'll go big. You see it now? TMNT. Um, right, it's the got turtle. the pig guy. Yep, Ninja Turtles. That is cool. Yeah, it's not bad. Does it say what issue it is? No, it's a version. I mean, it's pretty cool, though. I didn't yep, know if there was a bad. sticker on the back that said. I mean, that, that's pretty neat. You know, I mean, I mean, yeah. turtle sells, so you you might can unload it. What Jabroni, is that? Brony, that's nice. If you want it, I will sell it to you, man. I don't even sell it to you for 15 I'll give it to you for 10 What's going on, Justin? Justin Birch. What's going on, brother? I don't know oh, what issue that this Star is. Wars? No, this isn't Star Wars. It looks like a goofy Venom. And I'll, sure? I'll pop these like open a and look. Uh, I'm telling you, that's not Star Wars. Okay. Yeah. Marvel Comics the, 1000. I believe that's the... Table. Now, Marvel Comics 1000. I'm going to have a big unboxing, hopefully, tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Whoa. I don't... Now, okay, so that one's listed at 25. Yeah, that's the life field. Maybe I'll send it to him. He won't sign it. Uh, that one's listed at 25. This one's listed at 15. So, Dustin, do the math. I didn't 65. catch that. I heard, I heard 15. So, it's 65. Okay. Now, this one is pretty cool, but the, what they have it listed at is a bit absurd to me. 
And maybe it's, I don't know, Arkham, Sam Keith, Batman and the Max. If they have that, um, 70 bucks. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, I know my shop's got some of those in, but not that cover, and I don't know that they had number one. So. Well, this is their torpedo one, so, you know, they can oh, charge okay, whatever it is okay, they want. Yeah. So it may have been 70 the day it came out, and but, That's you it. know, I mean, who knows? Oh, this one's this one's neat. It's not bad. So it's signed by Chris Claremont. There you go. And it's a sub two hundred. So I mean, that's not no, bad not. at all. It's a two seventy nine. Oh, I thought it said one seventy nine. Sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> so is, is is there a COA on the back? I thought I saw something. Yep. So there is a COA. So yeah, I mean, hey, that that's cool, man. It's not, and it's not even a um, it's not a um, dynamic forces. So uh, that that that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. And then they, they said it would do hardbacks or something like that. Um, but again, wow, this is rough. <laughs> Day of Judgment, trade paperback. Hmm. If anybody's into that. Air Spider, what's going on, bro? And then the last and final disappointment. A hardcover Wolverine and the X-Men from... What is it from? Is that a hardcover or a trade? Yeah, it's a hardcover, but they put the sticker over what it collects, and it retails at $19.99. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I guess depending on what that what that Torpedo Comics Batman Max exclusive is actually running, um, yeah. I mean, you didn't, depending on what that's running right now, I mean, maybe you didn't do too bad, though. I mean, the Turtles book, yeah, that's got potential, you know, you know that, that was pretty cool. I think that the hold on design, overwhelmingly high. They're kind of like that Spider Man booth where it's a twenty dollar sticker, but it'll come back like three dollars on eBay. Yeah. And actually, I mean, I don't know what you want to do, Dustin, but I may just check eBay prices real quick and just share my screen. You want to do uh, that? Doesn't doesn't matter to me, man. I'm just I'm just hanging out. Yeah, I still got we still got about four or five minutes. Uh, we got about twelve minutes until. Uh, uh, very Gary. So, guys, what do you think? I mean, you guys, would you guys be disappointed? <laughs> and you spent how much on that box? Um, I don't remember how much it was. You said it was like $150 value supposed to be, right? Yeah, is what the value was, but I bought it a while ago. Okay, so it's going for about $50. Thank you. Thanks, man. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a yeah, lot better boxes is. out of our community. Yeah, but again, I mean, it's one I of mean those like, things, man. I mean, like, okay, like, well, like Jabroni's last boxes. I mean, at least you know, you knew that you were getting a slab, and you know, crap. If you look at the slabs that he sent out, I mean, his boxes were all worth, it, you know. <laughs> I thought so. so. At least, at least he got got you know us taken care of the the, the people that bought them. You know, Dude, these you see guys that? like this doesn't seem like they, you know, they throw their own exclusives in there that probably didn't cost them very much to start with. So, no, uh, it's like two dollars. Yeah. So look, that Max Batman sold for two dollars and eighty-seven cents. Oh hell, yeah, you got you got reamed a little bit. <laughs> uh, but they throw the word retail value in there. That's incredible. See, I, I haven't bought any any of these mystery boxes, but if I was going to buy one. Um, I would buy one from someone in the community that that I that I you know that I knew and had an idea of someone that, that you can trust that's not that's gonna you know make sure everybody's taken care of. So um, I don't I don't know that I would do the torpedo or Spider Man box not to not to you know not running them down or anything or anything like that, but. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not much of a risk taker, though. You know that. Yeah, and no matter how many times, I still end up buying them because they they intrigue me. I don't even like doing. You know, like there like, it is. Two dollars and forty seven. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. No, for sure, man. Bat. Absolutely. So that book that they have retailed for seventy dollars. Well, you can't really say. I tell you what. Here we go. So look, that book that they have on for 70, again, just showing you guys, went 
for two dollars and forty seven cents. But what does it cost when you have it graded at a nine point eight? Now we all know what is it going Chris Claremont. For? Chris Claremont doesn't sell um, his signatures for very expensive. Right? It's like ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Right. And you know what? This is this right here is is the one thing you guys you know anybody who participates in in these mystery boxes when you're doing it you got to <laughs> keep this right here in mind and you can't get mad about what you get no. because one nobody made you buy it two no this right here chaos right here hit it on the head this is why you're doing it right here when these people are putting out these mystery boxes they're not they're not guaranteeing anybody you're going to get this big grand, grand prize so nope. if you make the conscious decision to spend the money on it you can't get mad when you open it up and it's not something that you want nope. or you like or you value because no, they didn't make you buy it. And, nope. all, you know, the whole point of behind it was you're you're trying to see if you can get a hold of the grand prize. So um, you just got to keep that in mind. And that's coming from someone who doesn't participate in the mystery boxes. Yep. So, so um, real quick fair for me to say. Yeah. So, TiVo, uh, I know you guys opened up y'all's uh, a couple days ago. So mine did not come with this, anything up here. So no winner there. And we're just going through some of the books I bought. So, or some of the books I won and kind of what they sold for for uh, versus retail. So that book I have listed at 70, oh, upside down, for $70. Last sold on eBay for $2.47. So that's great. TiVo uh, said, where is the hot ass wife? <laughs> oh, he's talking to Hella Comics. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um x-men 240 or 279 last sold for 50 cents but it has chris claremont's signature on it which um, is about i think chris claremont charges like, like 15 bucks for a signature yep so we'll say 15 dollars, and then this we'll open it up and see i'm about to pull it up because i don't know what it is but i'm pretty that, sure it's one of the that exclusives. Is a neat cover though yeah now hey go back to that x-men book what does it look like? Is it is it look? I mean, pretty it's in good great? shape, but again, I mean, it's... what if you CBCS that book? Would it be worth? No. Would it Would it be worth it? No. Okay. It's not worth what it is. No. Well, I'm saying, but if it comes back a nine point eight verified signature, would that? I'll, I'll check out Go Collect. Look, you know, Go Collect. No, it's not going to be worth it. There's I'm nothing just special to help about feel it. better about it, man. Come on, I'm just no. I'm, I don't feel bad, right? It's just. Like I don't like I said I don't feel bad I know it's a gamble it's it's um what do you call it it's really just a raffle and you just get a consolation prize so there's not even FMV on it right so uh, but that's no big what deal two seventy nine two seventy nine there's nothing special from what series uncanny X Men two seventy nine right now uncanny X Men Dustin. Oh no no I'm talking about the turtle book I'm sorry I thought you oh, were oh you no. had, oh, okay okay yeah you just confused don't, me don't be getting all don't don't no because I was just really confused uh, mystery boxes are basically the repackaged sports card boxing front basically Bert what's going on man Nick's uh opening up a mystery box from Torpedo Comics all right so this is TMNT number eighty first printing from March and let's see. A torpedo so, exclusive. Uh, I'm trying to see. It has the cover list here. Planet Awesome exclusive cover. So let's check it out. What did I just tell you it was? And they have it listed for 15. Uh, uh, huh? Said so, they have it listed for 15. So let's okay. see. Absolutely chaos. Any any G I mean when when I saw the video of JB went in that that uh that freaking Hulk 181 slab, I was like, bro, no way. But I tell you what, I, I and I skipped over it because you were doing that, so I just wanted to go back. I know what book you're getting, Dustin, LOL. That's right, Cap. I, 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 I've I been in touch with the master, Mr. Ray Brown, and uh, got some fire sitting in my box at his house, so I'm super pumped about that. <laughs> Oh, a dollar ninety nine for what? For that book I just showed you was the last one it sold. The turtle. Yep. Wow. You should just box that up and send it to Jabroni. 
<laughs> Dude, a dollar ninety nine, and that's it. And what's funny is it's from the Spider Man booth too. And look, twenty dollars is on the price tag. Mm. So you know they have to like basically reach out to everybody and say, you know, hey, if you have any leftover exclusives, send them to me. I'll pay for buy them at whole uh, at wholesale cost, and we'll put them in a box. Yeah, I mean, like that's got to be it, right? Because I mean, torpedo. Look, and they even have this thing like double board. They're, they're a fully they're a fully functional comic shop too, though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So I mean, what do you mean? You know, just be stuff they just have sitting around in the shop too. Um, but why would they have the planet uh, collectibles? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I I don't know, I don't know, dude. I've, I've been in, I've, agree. I've, I've sat on. in on some of their Instagram auctions. Uh, or not auctions, but live sales, and um, I mean, yeah, some of the stuff is priced okay, but um, yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's it's hard to say. Like I said, the mystery box thing, it's uh, not good. Well, it's not that it's not good. I mean, like we said, you're going for a grand prize, and anytime somebody offers an you know a big grand prize, if you know, it's just a raffle. It's it's you know, like I said, it's it's. It's definitely a gamble. I'm just, I'm not All a right. risk taker, so. Hold on. So it's Grendel, Devil's Odyssey, number one, October 2019. And this is their Torpedo Comics, and this is from Dark okay. Horse. And you so, saw what um, TiVo said? No, what did it say? So he says uh, Planet Collectibles is also in Las Vegas, and they have a partnership, so. Oh, uh, okay, okay. But, hey. All right, so let's see. You know, it is what it is, man. No, like I said, I mean you can't really be upset about it. You know what you're getting into getting into. Absolutely, absolutely. At least you're getting something, right? Hey, look look at me. Let me tell you something right now. I'll make you feel I'll make you forget about this box right now. Hold on. I am getting a big book in tomorrow, so that's cool. That's it, man. That's all you gotta think about. You got you got something that is almost grail worthy for you since you saw the book. I know how much you've wanted it and, and you're what getting are you talking it. About? You. Oh, the Marvel Comics? Yeah, the book you just oh, picked yeah, up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, you know, yeah. I, I was I was super pumped you got it. Um, It'll you be know, awesome. You got rid of something girl. that you were disappointed in and ended up turning that into something that you're going to be, you know, okay. static so, to have. So. so this might be the closest one. So he had it listed for 25 and it sold uh, a couple days ago for fourteen ninety nine plus $7 shipping. If it's graded... Jeez, $40. Oh, my God, that's so bad. And that's the turtle book? No, this is the Grendel book. Oh, oh. actually, heck, that's that's not even the virgin. Or that's that's the trade dress. That's not even the virgin. Let me see if they have the virgin cover. Do you have the virgin? Yeah. Okay. But still, I would probably still call it about $15. That's long as it's sold. So there we go. All right, and then we have the Rob Liefeld... Marvel Comics 1000, uh, maybe, let's see. Do we have any feet on that cover? No. No feet? <laughs> not really? one, dude. Seriously, look, not not one. We can't even get the feet. Well, I'll just be daggone. Is it even Rob Liefeld's cover then? I believe so. I need to leave my man Rob alone. That man's crazy. <laughs> he's entertaining though, and and he's if his something. whole goal of of for what he's doing is just to keep himself relevant, <laughs> and then then it's working. All right, so eleven dollars, thirty dollars, thirty. So man, bats thinking that box costs like around a hundred bucks, but yeah, something like that. I mean, exactly, Absolutely. TiVo. I mean, and that's what we were pretty much saying, you know. So maybe 15. You're paying for a chance to, to win a huge book. And, you know, sometimes it, it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, that's it. And then these two goofy things that... Berg says like, he is nine subs away from hitting 700. Way to go, man. We're right on your tail, though. We're, 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 we're coming up quick, man. We're almost to 600. Oh Lord! That's right, Scarpad. <laughs> it's probably sick, dude. I don't know if you guys caught the live stream yesterday on Scarpad's channel with everybody on there, but uh, the last probably 
10, 15 minutes was the funniest, most entertaining time that I have had in a long time. I mean, I just sat and laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. Scarpad is, that dude is a hoot. I'm telling you right now. If you guys <laughs> aren't watching this guy, he is a hoot. <laughs> well, 100%. I, I like, I don't even, you, I guess the frustrating part, like I know what I'm getting into, right? But it's the fact of what they charge and they're like, oh yeah, it's guaranteed $150 in value. Or, and they put retail value. Yeah, you know, retail value. I can put five hundred dollars on this, and don't mean it's gonna sell. But again, it is what it is. That sticker by itself, though, is worth more than all of it. All Any I can comments? do is, is is make one of those uh, John's comic with kids faces <laughs> about the whole thing. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hella Comics uh, says they got a giveaway going on right now, trying to hit five hundred. So all right. So you're saying the last nine minutes suck? Thanks a lot. Well, <laughs> no, see, this is why I like this guy. Hey, Scarpad, um, you need to, uh, I, I'm going to get you in touch with Ray Brown. Thank you, Chaos. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure you've, you've seen and heard about the guy, but he said, he told me today he has got a humongous collection of Star Trek comics. I told him I knew just the guy that might be interested in some of them. So I'm going to get him. I'm gonna try to get him hooked up with you, man, because he 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 sounded excited about trying to get you hooked up with those. Yep, absolutely. Sub up Pella Comics for his wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Well, all right, guys. So we were gonna wrap it up. We weren't gonna take too long. I told my wife I wouldn't be in here too long, and then I know uh, Very Gary's opening up his. So I want to jump on there, see if his was any better than mine. Yep. What else you got, Dustin? So a couple things, real quick. Um, just for anybody that missed it earlier, uh, I'm doing a giveaway. Uh, me and Steve, over Captain Comics, are doing a giveaway for our Sunday What If show. If you go and watch the video from yesterday on What If Number Two, uh, you'll figure out in there how you can enter in for a chance to win a cop, a, a, a reader's copy, but it's free, ship and pay for of What If Number One. We're going to be giving that away this Sunday, so go check that video out so you can see how you can enter in to win that. Also. We dropped our very first ever Two Brothers Comics Picks of the Week video today. So if you guys haven't checked that out, it's a new thing we did. We really had a great time. I mean, I really enjoyed doing the video. I mean, it was fun. Yeah. And we really want to see what you guys think about it. So uh, if you guys can just go give that a few minutes, go watch it. It's a very short video. Just let us know what you think. Uh it's a little bit different than other people are doing, so we hope you guys like it. But if you guys aren't into it, uh, we probably won't keep doing it. But as long as you guys are liking it and you think it's cool and it works, then you know we'll keep doing it because we enjoyed it. So just check that out. And uh, and then our big are you giveaway enter in that contest I told you about today. Uh, possibly, I don't know. I got a lot of stuff going on. No, okay. uh, but so I just posted the link. That's the box or the link to our big giveaway for March massive massive giveaways i mean the one stack of comics i'm giving away is truly worth the value on top of that a uh, mad cave studios prize package as well as a brian silverbacks um uh man yeah in california yeah, it's brian silverbacks now. art pack giveaway yep that's the one you want i promise you that's the one you want because we are going to pay for you to get a commission done <laughs> by brian silverbacks and if you guys haven't watched that video, go watch that video and then go check out some of his work. The links are in the, in the description. The guy does some awesome work. We're going to have him on yeah. soon. Yeah. And harsh life. No, I, 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 I short of getting reamed. We'll put it. Um, <laughs> Hella comics. Next video will just be her <laughs> <laughs> scar pad. We'll know who will watch that. Um, Reader's copy is a sniff and go version. All right, there guys. Go. We'll get we appreciate everybody for sticking around. I'm going to go on Instagram, take some pictures, post it, and I'm going to post with that what they last sold for on eBay so people can kind of see what the value is, make decisions for themselves. But again, it's a raffle, so yep. you know what you're getting into. Um, so who are you going to watch after this? I'm going to go watch Very Gary unbox his so he can be disappointed like me. So Nick's going to see what Very, Very Gary's got going on. Yep. I'm going to be tuning in on my brother Matt's channel, The Boy Who Had Seven, for Comagories, Episode 3 tonight. 
If you guys have never watched that, I'm telling you right now, it is so much fun to watch. It's so much fun to be a part of. So that's going to be happening tonight, too, on the Boyhood 7 channel. So make sure you guys check that out, too. Yep. And as always, collect your way.